Howdy folks, Stray Cat 74 here. Welcome back to the basement of solitude. Got a new one for you here. I was wandering around Walmart, and one of the things I've been seeing in my YouTube um, suggestions is those little bitty pocket rocket stoves, the ones that take these kind of fuel things. Now, because I have one of these kind of fuel things, uh, this is just the Coleman, um, it's the only one they had on the shelf that was this size. All the others were like huge, and I don't need that, not really. But usually they have little uh, stoves that attach to that. Well, I found this one. It's a four-in-one stove and stand, and it's got the, whoops, other side, the adapter here to go to a one-pound propane cylinder. Now, most of the time when you see these, um, they start at like 20 bucks and go up from there. This, with the little carry bag on the back, was 13 bucks. That's hard to beat with a stick. So I went ahead and got one. And as you can see, it's still in the package. And if I like this thing, I'll go back and get two more. That way, each of my kits can have a little bitty pocket rocket. So first thing we need to do is Kerniff and open. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got destructions and pouch. And it's just your typical Ozark Trail El Cheapo pouch. Uh, that's not a belt loop, which is slightly annoying, but it does have a little plastic D-ring on it. So pouch, cheap, cheesy, chintzy, about typical for Ozark Trail. We got the destructions here. No adapter, need adapter. Let's see, we've got English on that side and continued on the back side, okay. And most of this is, looks fairly straightforward. Okay. It goes that way. Uh -huh. Here's one of those, uh, let's see, ooh, that's really stiff. There it goes. Here's a little stand that you put your fuel thingy on. Aha, and it snaps on the bottom like that. Gives you a little bit more stability. And of course you can't see this while it's on the table, so... But you have to put this on by opening it. You'll see it. there's two little tabs here that go together. So, like this, then rotate it around until it locks into place. That's nice, I like that. And it's got three notches. I mean take this off here. It's got notches on the side here for different size cans. That's an interesting. And let me see if I can get you a better shot of that. There you go. See that? And then crank it together and it locks together. Not bad. It's going to get a little stuffy in here because all of my fans are off because they sound horrible over the, uh, the microphones. So let's see, here's the adapter. Put the one pound propane on that side and that screws into your stove on the other side. And as you can see, those are the same, or at least close enough to the same. <clears throat> so most of the time I won't need this, at least until I run out of these. Now for the Pizza of Resistance. There's a little plastic thingy. 
outdoor use only, blah, 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 make, model, BTU rating is 10,000 BTU. Propane butane gas cylinder, recommended canister model Coleman, 333264, which is what I assume this is because it was right next to it. Doesn't say. Okay, whatever. Zijing Great Star Industrial. 11 dash something and to lots of Shenzhen, China, uh, China. Bunches of places in China. Okay. So, let's see. This should spin around like that. Good. And he's got these little feet that, that fold out. Nice. Whatever you do, pay no attention to the pattern that the legs are in because uh, somebody didn't think that one all the way through or they just don't care. I'm not going to show that on YouTube. Just each leg has a little thing that comes out and then goes down and then there's four of them. So use your imagination. I think that wasn't bad taste, but let's see. Okay, Sparker, go Sparky Sparky. So, come on. Okay, that's a little more difficult than I expected. Okay, that wasn't all the way closed. Now it's all the way closed, okay. I don't have anything to put on here, so I'm gonna just leave the feet out of the way for the moment. All the feet are over here, just to get them out of the way. So, open. Oh yeah. I mean, other than the sparky thing heating up really, really good. I think I like. Okay, so, ah, this last leg here's got a little nubby thing so you can pull that out and around. Okay, so, for 13 bucks, I'd say this is well worth it. So, unscrew. I don't want to touch the top because it was on. <sighs> okay, to get that to fold up, you have to open the valve ever so slightly and then fold it up. Or fold it off to the side. Yeah, folding it up, turning it a little bit and then folding it off to the side. So that's all the way closed. 
that's partially open, and then fold. And then, let's see if I can get the sparky thing in here. Oh yeah, you can see the sparky thing really good there. Ah, trying to do this backwards in the camera. There we go. About a minute to cool off and it feels fine. So there we go. So for those of you who like little bitty pocket camping stoves, uh, Ozark Trail 4-in-1 stove with stand and it comes with a little poachy thing for 13 bucks. Oh, apparently I hit the, the stop button when I meant to hit the pause button. Um, this is the thing all up in here. The pouch is a little big. I think that if, if it had been about yay big, it had been a lot better, but there's quite a bit of... I mean, I could put two of these in in here. I mean, you can see that, that there's you could easily fit two of these in in here no problem if you turn that sideways yeah half the thing in there is empty space so pouch is oversized but not big enough to put a canister in i know that a lot of people put these inside their bush pot and then put their stoves in on top i guess that's a thing to also the bag yeah bag is oversized it's ill-fitting you can see the hole straight through there that's the only way to get it to latch i mean if this whole front side was fuzzy stuff so that you could crank down on it and get a good seal on it i mean that's one thing but It'll only go that far. And then it's half again too wide. So the stove itself, pretty good. The uh, the bag, eh, not so much. But I just realized I hadn't tested that yet. Give me just a second. I gotta go grab one. <clears throat> this one will show up a little bit better because it's got the little base thing. Ah, there we go. My bad. I forgot about that. Snug. Crack it open. Definitely prefers the lower settings. So just barely cracked open. Oh, wow. I got a flame. I don't think you can see that with the light as high as it is. Let me. There we go. That you can see. And that puts out quite a lot of heat. So, that works too. Open that slightly, fold that over. Actually, I'm going to leave that on there for now. That makes it a little bit easier to store. I am going to give it a minute to cool off. So there we go. Two Coleman fire things. 
question? Mildly amusing. This fits just over that, but it's not going to be exactly stable. So, ring, propane, I've got, matter of fact, right? See that silver thing? Is the two mantle lamp that goes on to this. So, yeah. Uh, 13 bucks. I'd say that's hard to beat. Now, thank you for watching. If you like today's video, folks, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, tick the little bell icon for all notifications, and remember to share this on all your social media platforms so your friends can enjoy my content as well. Thank you.